what you're doing now. I'm pouring the hot water in, but it is going to be too hot. So I'm going to add some cold. Fill it up with cold, please. How come you say it's too hot? Because it's steaming. And I want it to be so you could put it on your wrist and not really tell it was there. Well, why not use it steaming? Because it would kill the yeast, and since I would be putting my fingers into it to test it, I would burn my fingers. And we can't have you burn your four little fingers, eh? Well, I could use your nose. Oh, she's feeling happy today. Okay. How much water? Two and a quarter cups. That's still too hot. You want some more then? Oh, you got some more. That'll do. Two and a quarter cups of water. Now, Don should actually have the camera facing him because this will drive him nuts. Well, I am recording it. I know, but not your face. Okay. Oh, you wanted to show my face. Mm -hmm. One and a half tablespoons of oil. You're right. Instead of using... Don would dirty another measuring spoon. And... I will show you how I measure flour and how he would measure flour. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's put it this way. I'm a perfectionist. And look who he picked. I'm a slapdash make-do. And look who I got. Over my kicking and screaming. <laughs> I love you too, dear. I love you too. That's why we've been together for almost 40 years. One, tape, one teaspoon of salt. Just ordinary salt? Just ordinary salt. Um, one quarter cup of sugar. Now, if I was doing this the way Don does, he picks it up. And he scrapes it off, and he measures exactly. You get exactly one quarter cup of sugar. And when I make bread, the results are the same every time. Except when they aren't. And one and a half tablespoons of yeast. So you're making up the liquid stuff first. Yeah. Linda is mechanically inclined. <laughs> no, I'm not. Here, put that back in the freezer, please. Why do you keep the yeast in the freezer? Because that's what I was told to do. It's supposed to last longer. Now I just let it go for a couple of minutes just to get it mixed. And I'm going to turn this so I can put the flour in here. How many cups of flour? Five and a quarter. And you're adding it nice and slow? Reasonably. I add the five and then I keep a quarter back just in case they need it. <laughs> You've all met my lovely little granddaughter, right? Well, she's still a lovely little granddaughter, 
but I'm not too keen on her right now. The end of September, she brought home a cold, and she gave it to me, and I've still got it. Such a nice sharing girl. I'm waiting until it all forms into a ball. And yes, I know you would scrape it down, but I just let it go. What speed are you running that at? Stir. And one or two. Now, oh, I guess I'm having two. Oh, but what have I got at that there? Can you see? I think you're on two. Okay. I let it go at stir and then let it go to two. You could make this into onion buns by adding some chopped onion. I was thinking of trying it with dehydrated onions, but I don't know yet. feeling there. See if it's sticky. It's not really sticky, but... It's still a little too wet for your taste? Ah, not really. I just figure it can do a little bit more flour. Okay. Now, my other question is, why are we making mums at home? Because... Hamburger buns and hot dog buns in town, they're crumbly. The crust never stays on like, the, like they're supposed to. Okay. They, yeah, and they cost twice as much here in town as they do if I pick them up in the city. So instead of making a three hour trip to the city every time I want hamburger buns, I decided I can make them. Some of them turn out a little weird looking, but if they don't fit a hamburger, they're great for making sub sandwiches on. And I tried hot dogs. They come out really strange looking, so I don't think I'll do them. But. Okay, so is this all the kneading you're going to do? Yeah, that's it. Because when I used to make bread with you, it was mix it all up in a bowl and then pound it on a counter for 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, I know. It was Why do you think workout. I like this thing? Well, I had the Oscarizer and I didn't like their dough hooks. Okay. They just didn't work right. But this one, you can put it in. I don't really think you can overheat bread. Well, yes, you can, but... Not easily. So... There's my bread. All so now what are you going to do with it? I am going to put it into another bowl. Put some oil in it. Oil Still, the top of it? Or the bowl? Oil the bowl and swish it around in the oil. Put it in the oven with a cup of hot water. Come back in two hours. Punch it down. Do the same. Come what on. do you do? What, <coughs> do you set the oven for any temperature? No. I could do it on proofing, but with the price of electricity, it's just as easy. I fill this with hot water, I stick it in, close the oven door, and it gets nice and warm. And what are you waiting for? What do you look for for when it's ready to knead again? When it's doubled in size. Okay. So... Why not just take the bowl off? Because it sticks on there very hard and my hands don't do it. And I want I might make up another batch before I so okay. just roll it into a ball, drop it into the oil, make sure the oil is all over the bowl, roll it around. Like that. I 
find out where somebody else has put all your dish towels. Cover it up. Open the up. And kill the dishwasher because he forgot to. He put that to soak last night when he was doing dishes and forgot about it. But that's okay. I didn't have to do the dishes, so I'm very forgiving. Okay. No, my mother used to rise, or my dad, he was the baker, used to rise bread in the oven, but we had a gas oven, and the pine of light made it warm enough. So, in two hours, my bread will have risen double and be ready to punch down. So, see you in two hours. Punch it down and then put them onto the trays? Yeah. I, the one I watched, they did it twice, but to me that seems kind of stupid. So I thought I'd check another recipe and they only punch it down. They only do it the once. They punch it down and put it into the loaf pan. Well, see, it seemed kind of silly to let it rise three times. That's kind of what I thought, so I thought I'd check. So now you're just oiling the pans so they yeah. don't stick? Yeah. Oh, were you tired? Were you doing that? Doing Tell what? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven? Yeah, big pot of water. <laughs> <laughs> and poofy. Now this is the fun part. You think of somebody you don't like. And they deflate. Okay. And it can be anybody. And then you pull off how much? About a ballful. I'm making these up I decided since these are going to be ready sometime around supper time, we'd have subs tonight. So I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. Okay. Aren't you going to make them a bit narrower? I like round subs. Okay. Kaiser buns. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. That's and that's all you do is you just figure out how much dough you want and you yeah. pinch it off. Yeah. For Ann Chi, I will make a couple of much smaller ones. Okay. All right. Let's Bring people looks... back when you've got that finished then. See, this is the size I'll use for Ann Chi because she's only four. And she'll like what I made her for supper. Okay, dear. You can talk about them now. Okay. These are just hamburger buns. These are sort of longer buns. We have massive hamburgers here. Well, we do. The ones I buy frozen are they're like that shape. And a bun, hamburger bun is that big. They yeah. don't fit. That's true. So. Store-bought hamburger buns, you're always... Nibbling the meat away from the ends first. Yeah, and if <coughs> you buy the more expensive, bigger buns, instead of a cheap hamburger meal, it's like a gourmet cost dinner. So yeah. Okay, so you got them squashed out to about half an inch thick? About that, yeah. And now what, what happens? They sit there for about an hour. So come yeah. back in an hour, I'll throw them in the oven. <coughs> and 
and we will have subs for supper. Okay. Or maybe hamburger buns if none of us. We'll right. have something with buns for supper. <laughs> pretty much and you slice with a very good knife my bread knife seems to work you you're just, just putting an X on the top just put an X on these ones and why the, let's the steam and stuff out so they don't they don't stay wet and and I cut, uh, I cut just straight creases in here and now they go you can, if you want, put an egg wash on them. It makes them golden brown, apparently, but I've never done it. So I'm putting them in the oven. It's been preheated to 400. They stay in for 10 to 15 minutes. When you take them out, they sound hollow when you hit the bottom. I know what I've done wrong. My you. oven rack is too low. And you moved the oven rack when you were proofing the bread? Yeah. I have extremely tall pots, so I keep the oven rack on the lower one. But they go in 10 to 15 minutes, and that's the size of them. And in 10, or 10 to 15 minutes, I will check them. If they sound hollow, they're done. Okay. Hello again. These are done. Ooh. I had, I was using a recipe that was calling for dinner rolls, and they said 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Well, these have been in for 20 because they're so much bigger. But there they are. Don't melt the plastic bags. Well, I want the ham in it to thaw out for supper. <laughs> for about two dollars, I got ten buns. Big buns. Big ones, yeah. Okay. So, and here in town to get six buns, you're paying three dollars, and they don't taste near as good as mine. So anyhow. And you can make them whatever shape you like. Okay. There's my sub buns. Did you do the tap test? Yep. Yeah. Those are big subs. Are you going to split them in half? No, you only get one. <laughs> on Saturday and we've gone through it. That's how good the buns are. Which was why I gave up making bread years ago. Why? Because when I met you, you weighed 150 pounds. I started making bread and and I got, got fat. You got bigger. maybe 10 minutes of work, I've got that. And well, we're having no. It was more than 10 minutes of work. No, I turned on the machine, stood there and watched it. I made the buns, put them in the, let them sit again, put them in the oven, stood around waiting, did other things, pulled them out, and there's the buns. I did no major work. Okay. You can do this by kneading it by hand, but... My hands don't let me do that anymore, so this is fun. All right, then. All right, say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, so I that's like how you <coughs> open up the bun. These are my funny big ones. I so I slice them down that way and then across. Yep. Um, and this is my sub shop for tonight. Can I don't need some money because I think I'll be...